On most days, I'm pretty indecisive in terms of what I want to eat, what type of food I want to eat, but today I was 100% sure that I wanted Egyptian food, so I'm headed over to Masrawi Kitchen to get my fix. One thing that I have to say off the bat is your food is so delicious. Thank you for blessing us with that amazing meal. You're so welcome. I want to know a little bit more about the inspiration behind the menu. The menu uh, of Masrawi, we have decided to keep it strictly Egyptian. A taste of the street from Egypt from different regions, all the way from Alexandria. As you can tell, we have food from Cairo, Alexandria, and we actually named it according to the city where it came from. If I were to go to Egypt, yes. is this food that I would commonly find? Absolutely. So you'll find, as if you tried the rice dish, the kushari. Yes. That's the only thing that will be sold in the restaurant is kushari, accompanied with one dessert, which is the rice pudding. So one of the dishes that I really, really enjoyed and that was very interesting to me was the kosheri. Yes. So you're saying that's specific to Cairo, but there's a unique concept behind that dish, right? Yes, so Cairo diet is mostly vegetarian. So the actual kosheri dish, it, although it is a street food, but it, it is a complete healthy meal because mm -hmm. you got your starch, your protein, the, um, your vegetable all in one dish. So the other two things that I completely fell in love with were the falafel and the chicken tikka. <clears throat> yes. So I know like you can find falafel or chicken tikka at other places, but what makes the Egyptian version so different. So we'll start off with the tikka. Tikka is known to the Canadians as an Indian dish. Right, yeah. However, in Egypt it is um, white in color. So the, the Egyptians use a half a chicken that is semi deboned and it's marinated for more than two days in yogurt, onions, garlic and cilantro and whole lemon. For the falafel part, the whole Middle Eastern region will use chickpeas in the making of falafel. The final product is a bit yellowish beige in the inside. The only nation in the Middle East that use a diff different ingredients are the Egyptians. We make it with split fava beans and five different vegetables and herbs and six different spices. Only Alexandrians call it falafel. Really? But all other Egyptians call it tamiya. Say it again? Tamiya. 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 Is yes. my pronunciation okay? <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us today. You're very welcome. I have like a table full of food still. Do you think you can hook me up with some to-go bags so I can share Absolutely. It with my mom too? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> for sure.